Wonderland opportunity for um, the I have, I have, Yeah, I'm not going to be in charge of picking that staff. I don't know how my bosses will do it, but I know that this program does definitely have this amazing record of placing people and allow me to skip all those really difficult steps of like moving to town without a job and working as a writer's assistant, which is a very hard job that I don't think I could do. And I never had to do it because I got in the Disney program and was able to um, sort of go right from struggling grad student to struggling staff writer without stopping in between. Before you go, we only have a couple minutes with you. I'm definitely watching the clock for you. Um, I'd be remiss not to ask more about Once Upon a Time. Definitely the nuances. There's so many nuances in the show, and I pick up on these very uh, unnoticeable nuances, as I'm sure many fans do. How much of that is worked out in the writer's room, and how much is that discovered at the talk writers? Most things are worked out in the writer's room. Um, the, you, sometimes people ask me, like, when you go out to write an episode, do you work from an outline, or do you just like find a story as you go? Oh no, you, every show is the, what you do in that room, what you do in this easy hotel room, is you are giving birth to an outline. And, uh, and that's what the writer takes, when, when the writer leaves that room, they've got a really detailed, I guess, beat sheet. Then you go home and you turn it into an outline, and you know every beat of every scene, what, what order the information is going to come out, um, and so you are never just finding it. And so you may throw in a little detail here or there, and certainly the dialogue gets to come out of your brain as you're at home with your fingers on the keys. But, but most of the things you're talking about, the little nuances, the little connections, those were almost certainly worked out in the room. Interesting. Can you, before you go, um, talk a little bit how the program helped you brand yourself as a writer? Um, well, it definitely brand myself. I mean, it placed me on those early sitcoms, so in a way it sort of branded me as a sitcom writer, which isn't mostly what I do now, except for husbands. Um, so it, in a way it put me on a track that I then had to correct the course and go, no, I'm going to be a drama writer. But it gave me the confidence and flexibility of having been through the program to have the confidence and the courage of my conviction to go, like, no, I know enough about the drama writing process to know I'd be a better fit there. So I'm going to have the courage to not keep going down this path and go over here and try this path. Uh, and just, it taught me that there's always another joke. Never be afraid to throw out a joke. You'll, you'll, you can always find a better one. Um, it, it gave me a community in LA. The people who were my friends 20 years ago in the Writers' Fellowship are still my best friends today. Um, you develop, you make friends in the program that stay with you the rest of your, of your life in LA.